All right, well, while crazily remembering what day it was, I was able to pick up a pack on um, the day they came out. And so I finally had some time to get around to opening it. And I really do love these packs. I think they're super cool. Once a month, you know, they come out with a new pack for, under the first partner series, but it's, you know, every generation. So I was really excited to get this one. And of course, the next month one, which would be the last one to complete it, because I do have the, the folder to go with it. I do think it kind of sucks the fact that uh, they changed the jumbo sizing. Now the jumbo is like four times. So like, you know, two across and then two tall of what one card would be versus how the older jumbos were. So when I heard about these, I got excited because, you know, I do still have some of those old jumbos that I do like, um, you know, excited to see them, um, you know, to, to see them and then have them. And then I heard that they were going to have a folder and I was like, oh, this is great. Now I can put them all in the folder. So we'll go through this after I open this up, of course. Um, oh yeah, uh, let me grab my other, I, I, think, I like Cyndaquil a lot, so I think I have the Cyndaquil, like this one is based off of, uh, in the, in the, uh, cabinet over there, let me go grab it real quick, I forgot about it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I finally got this to get it open, and I forgot to record, but I did open it, but I haven't checked the cards yet, um, and like I said, I don't like how, I, well, it's cool that they're packaged in, like, a giant jumbo thing, but it kind of sucks, because these can get bent, and which did happen to me. The Pokemon Center sent it to me in very bad packaging, so the whole side corner was bent. It was upsetting. Okay, and so let's take a look at the card itself. So there we go. Um, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of an off chop right there, but it's better because I have had ones where the whole, like a whole chunk is just missing. Pretty bad, you know, like, it, you know, it just really sucks because... You uh you get the cards waiting for them and you can't even look at them in the packaging. Of course, you just open it and then that's when you find out like, oh great, this is completely miscut or misshapen or, or whatever. But it looks great. I think it looks freaking amazing. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell scale. So I do got my original ones here too, so you can see a difference. Like you know, I might even try to do like some uh you know like forced perspective kind of thing, like where these look big, but then like you know I get this and then. <laughs> It feels the same size because you really can't tell scale, but I'll put them right next to each other. Yeah. Anyways, um, pretty good. They've gotten better. The first jumbos were pretty bad. Chikorita. And of course, the only hollow in this is the stamp, which is interesting. Uh, but I mean, they're they're trying to stay true to the original, which is good. I do like that. And then, of course, this is the card I wanted. This is the card I really wanted so badly. Um, I really, I was really, I'm really, you know, happy that I was able to get a pack. Um, unfortunately, you know, they sold out super quick and then I had to get it from GameStop. So I did get this cool little promo GameStop card, which they told me they were sold out of when I went to the store, but I guess they have a boatload at their warehouse or something. So let me grab the original card and, um, there you go. Is the colors a little bit off? Is this one darker? Yeah, the colors are a bit off. They did they did brighten this image up a lot. It's by a good amount. It's not as dark. Which is pretty cool, you know. Sorry, my camera's not that good, so it can do like double focus or something, but it's pretty neat though to have them side by side like this. And by force perspective, they're the same size. Pretty cool. Alright, let me put them in the folder and um you know what? Let me open these packs first. I know people always see these. So uh, don't forget, these, it does come with two packs. They're different for every every first partner. Right there, first partner pack. Um, different for each one. Uh, but I know that since this one is the newest, the newest one, it does come with one evolving size. Which really, I really like that set. Sun and Moon set, I really don't care too much about it. So I'm going to open this one last. But like I said, I'm never, uh, I never get anything good. So I really never worry too much about it. But, uh, let's see. Let's see if I get anything decent. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, I'll use the codes by by the time this video is up. So don't worry if you see the code. Let's run through it. Oh, reversed Adrio. Oranguru. Is this the one with the card thing? Oh no, it's the other one. That's not too bad of a card. Oof, my bad. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing good. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I did get a did get an extra hollow, standard hollow, which is cool. And the Dugdrio. What's his ability? Oh, that's a decent ability. Interesting ability. Good for trapping people. Okay, next one. Uh, and if I get the Rayquaza in here, that'd be cool. I really do like Rayquaza. Um, all the Eevees are good, too. If I can open it. There we go. Uh, 
I do it the other way? There we go. Boop. Oop. Okay. More reap. Oh, the hop hip. That's that cheating ability. There we go. Reverse. Drum paw. And then the single strike. Eh, that, that ability's kind of lame. And that's it. Oh, the ice cube. I like the other ice cube. The ice cube with the ability ice face. That one's good. That one's really good. I really do like that one. So yeah, nothing, like I said, nothing good. Nothing crazy from the cards. Just, just no. Just the reverse that you're always guaranteed, of course. All right. Toss this to the side. So that means for shiny cool cards I got. I mean, if you include the promo I got, I got that too. And then this one. Not too bad. Good enough. Like I said, all, all I'm here for is the jumbos. That's all I really care about. Now let me run through the other jumbos. So if you get the Pikachu folder, which is what they want you to get, is this Pikachu folder. But now other uh, folders are starting to show up, which is good. Um, you do also get this cool little... Don't forget to buy this, you know, thing over here. So we're right here. And now coming up. And I know that one is going to be a pain to get. I do have all of them. Uh... Except for this one, of course, because it's not out yet. And then a, a cool little small little sheet telling you which cards if you want to check them off. Uh, but I'm probably not going to do that. Um, I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be a pain. I know it is. I know it is. All right, let's run through them. So the Pikachu. And here's some of that that cutting up there. You can see it's, it's pretty bad. They have gotten a little bit better, but it's still all over the place with their with their cuts. Um, this might be hard to see or to tell, but yeah, the, um, they're, they are the jumbos, even though they look tiny because of the perspective. Um, you know, either that or I have very tiny hands or something, but yeah. Um, and then of course, uh, I think all, all, for all generations, I've chosen the fire, but, uh, except for diamond and pearl where I used Piplup because I, I like Piplup so much more than, um, and pulling on too, some I mean, and pulling on so much more than the uh, Infernape. I really didn't like him as a Pokemon and how he looked and everything. I wasn't too crazy about it. Oh, uh, Tepig, I freaking love Tepig and his Heat Smash. Well, you know, Heat Crash, I think it's called. Chimchar. Oh, Chimchar. If I can get this thing to focus, there we go. Chimchar. Back when they were trying to promote more of the more of those no energy costs, which is a cool idea, but. Really didn't get any use. Like you just got like these ten or draw card, uh, draw a card moves. Nothing crazy. And then Piplup, I love Piplup so much more than that one. Torchic, I of course got Torchic, but I wasn't too crazy about uh, Blaziken like everybody else was. Blaziken was cool. Um, it goes grass, then water, grass. Told I like this art. I told it a lot. Plus how simple the art was back then. I mean, now it's like way more dynamic, you know, with all the shading and all the other stuff they do now. But this art is just. Can Sugimori do this one? You know, looks great. Getting this folder fills out, filled out is freaking amazing too. Um, that will fit in there. Here we go. Cyndaquil, the card I wanted. Okay, now for the back side. I better put these new cards in the back. Dragapult V looks freaking great. They use the same hollow and everything. So it proves that they can make a really good card. But of course, like I've been saying, that undercut. I don't know how well that shows up. But there is a, right next to that, there you see that notch. Just a complete chunk. Like missing, they completely missed that line. So I tried to get one perfect. I know it was going to be near impossible. Um... Because they, 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 it's very common for those chunks or for, these just have the right, you know, for their chunks or the uh, little score, little marks on the side to be there. Super common of all these ones I've gotten. It's, it's pretty upsetting, to be honest. You know, they gotten regular cards down. Like, what, is it really that much harder to make a, a jumbo? <laughs> oh, that's it. What cards I got. That's all I got. Um. So far, so far, like the craziest one I got is probably that Dragapult. But I mean, the one that I love the most is the Cyndaquil. Hope I can try to get an extra pack um, to, to maybe frame, or maybe I'll just take this one and frame it up. I think that'll be cool with the Cyndaquil. 
But I think that's all the cards I got. We can just take one more last look at the uh, at the two originals real quick. First editions. I did have this one on display. That's why this one has a little the case thing. And then, of course, the Quill Lava. There we go. All right, and that should be it for this. Hopefully, I can do another follow-up to this where I complete the book when I get the last set and the hope that this doesn't sell out instantly. But I have a bad feeling about it. But let's just hope. So that's all I got for today. So thanks for watching.